Hi everyone, John here with Ready Player Movies and welcome back to a brand new video. So I have just come out from seeing Joker Foil a Dirt, um, which is uh, today, uh, this time is the second view, is the second viewing that um, that's been on. Um, now... I'm not sure what to, I'm not, not quite sure what to make of this film. I mean, I also, I always try and find a po uh, some kind of positive for the, uh, for any film that I do go and that I do try and get to see. Now, as much as I loved the first, uh, the first movie, as, as many of you already know from my review that I gave of it when it, when it came out, um, with, uh, in, Oh God, I can't even remember when it came out now. But anyway, uh, likewise, likewise, this isn't exactly a dis. To me, this isn't exactly a big disappointment. I'm actually seeing this as more of another one of those films that stands on its own compared to its predecessor. Now, it's a bit of a bold move to take to take a, um, a character such as this in into a sequel. After what? After the after the events of that of that first movie, with it being a musical, um, and it, for me that doesn't quite work out. But what I do get good, what what is good about this film is the fact that it has a this it has great set design. The set design and the and the overall photography of the film is absolutely amazing and Joaquin is really really is on top form. Um I'm gonna try and be as spoiler free as I possibly can because obviously with this being the first um the first day of release um there's going to be maybe a few people that might want to see it because, but but for the reason with it being a musical, it's a bit of a turn off for for some for some people who don't appreciate who don't appreciate this genre of um, of film. But the film itself, I mean, it's not that awful. It's not that bad. It has got a lot. It's got a lot going for it. The performances are great. I love Brendan Gleeson is brilliant in this, as the as the. Um, as the as the chief as the chief um, as the chief officer of Arkham, um, the chief security officer of of Arkham, uh, and the, and like I said, the, the the overall presentation of it is really good. Todd Phillips has done has done pretty well with what with the idea that he was trying to convey, but unfortunately. <sighs> It's a bit of it's it's a bit of a, a wild ride to say the least. Um, I think I think it was just a little bit too much to ask for to be able to try and top the success of that first one by going in this direction. Um, like I like I said, that the, um, there's not much more that I can say without without going really deep in into any kind of spoilers. But it does leave it does finish on a very very dour moment actually uh which obviously i can't obviously i don't want to talk about but it does leave me a kind of question if they are going to go into into a different in into another film i can kind of under i can kind of understand why is you sort of going into into like setting another little tent pole as if it's almost like a feeling of uh, like a filler for something else that's coming um because they did reference in the original in the original movie that anyone could be could be joker and the kind and that kind of without without giving too much away without giving a great deal away about it it kind of it very much follows up on it with the ending of the of this film um but like i say i can't really go into it much more but like uh, but my overall my overall thoughts are it's not it's not as bad as people as some people are making it out not that i've seen any reviews because i haven't i'm just going off i'm just going off word of mouth from from some uh, from people from across the from across the um across our across our um 
platform really i will give i will probably give this film um i mean i'm i'm actually quite being quite generous here because as much as i didn't didn't think it 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 lives up to its original it's not as bad as people are making it out to be it, it it's like it's not the sort of thing i would go back and watch over and over again not like the original one where i think that that had a bit more grounded it was just a little bit all over the place so my my rating for this i will probably stick it at maybe seven out of ten and that is being very generous i would have given it lower if the arrange if the overall arrangement of the film wasn't uh, wasn't as good as as it as as it should be i'm sorry for the light someone's just coming out this someone is pulling out the car park just put the lights on there um yeah i'll give it a solid seven out of ten so those are my overall thoughts on the film um i won't really go much further into it if i won't really uh, go on uh, an awful lot more into it i'll probably leave it at the at this out of cinema experience review um so with that being said guys thanks for tuning in i hope you i hope you sort of have a little bit of decent insight into the um, um, into the film um and hope you, you kind of get somewhat of an enjoyable experience from it but like i say i'm not saying i didn't i did but only for only specific reasons only only for specific reasons but un, but like i say um but yeah if you want to do all the youtube stuff by all means do so um you'll, you'll be very much appreciated but you don't have to, obviously you don't have to it really isn't a problem so with that being said guys i'm going to scoot off because i've got the showing i've got a 10 year anniversary of interstellar to go and see so i'm going to head i'm going to be heading back in now so like i say Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you next time. See ya.